Tyron Smith said that a goal is planned conflict against the status quo. And I believe that's what a leader does, is he sets goals. He helps the whole organization set goals that we don't just accomplish the status quo or what's already going to happen. We actually make war against the status quo and we set goals. We set objectives that are above and beyond what would normally be accomplished. And that's the task of a leader. So if you want to be a leader on the team, set a goal. Don't let any week go by that you haven't set a goal for how many numbers that you're going to build into to your team. Don't let any month go by where you haven't set a goal for how many tickets you're going to move to a seminar or what increase in your direct fulfillment CD of the weeks that you're going to do. A leader has to have goals. If you don't have goals, you're going to just accomplish the status quo. So as a leader, determine what you want to accomplish this year and then backtrack so that you know on a monthly basis what you need to accomplish in order to hit that end of the year goal. Numbers. Where are you going to be at seminar counts, uh, your numbers at every seminar from here through the end of the year? What are you going to do as far as building your direct fulfillment counts, your auto ship counts? As you build numbers, that's the way you can measure your leadership because the leadership ends up being influence. And influence is how many numbers, how many people are following you and your goals. How many people have bought into the goals? And remember that people do not buy into the goal until they buy into the leader. So are you the type of leader that has bought into your own goals so that you can help people on your team buy into that goal and then play a part setting their own personal goals to help the overall team hit its goals? There's going to be one team that's going to be the fastest growing team for 2009. And the question is, is it your team?